Tonight, it has been a week since two parents were found dead outside their car on I-4 with their three small children alive, unhurt, and apparently unaware inside the car. New at 11, we're learning about the tragedy behind the tragedy, how the grandparents are now struggling to take care of those children. Only News 6's Brittany Harris talked with the grandfather tonight over the phone. Brittany, it sounds like... This was also a huge shock to him. Yeah, he says they still don't know what exactly happened and are waiting to hear more from investigators. In the meantime, though, they're now raising his daughter's kids. It's been more than a week since state troopers found Daniel and Heather Kelsey dead outside their SUV on I-4 in Volusia County. And investigators still haven't determined an official cause of death. All they know so far is that at least one of them had drugs in their system. I don't want anybody to ever have to go through what we've gone through. It really is, it truly is terrible. That's Heather's father, Mike Bell Lyle. We talked to him by phone. He says what makes the situation even more heartbreaking is that all three of his grandkids, who are under the age of four years old, were in the back seat of the vehicle, completely unaware that their parents had died. Our four year old grandson is autistic. And, you know, they, they got hyper focused. And when they, they, were, they were watching a the movie, they really don't know. I mean, they're kind of looking for mommy right now. Mike says he and his wife now have custody of the kids and are planning to raise them. He admits it's going to take a lot of work and cost a lot of money, but many people have already stepped up to help with that. One family friend even set up an online fundraiser. We're extremely thankful for it. We're overwhelmed by how generous people have been. Mike says people have already donated lots of clothes and food, so they're okay with that kind of stuff for right now, but they could use more baby items and, Eric, of course, more monetary donations. Uh, it's certainly understandable. And you've made it easy, Brittany, for people. If they want to help, they can do that. Yeah, that's right. We put everything online, including the GoFundMe page and the You Caring page, and, of course, the entire story is online. So if people want to learn more about this situation, and, of course, the cause of death hasn't been ruled uh, officially just yet. Still right. Yeah, there's a mystery as to how they died. That has yeah. not really been That's confirmed. Right. Brittany, thank you very much.